Yeah, so I'm going to give you a bit of a sad fact here. Um, you know, um, Garmin watches. I'd be lost without them. Do you know what I mean? Um, if I was a runner from like the seventies, eighties, even the nineties, I'd have like no hope of doing well as a runner because I just. Do you know what I mean? There's a very narrow range of paces that I can hit in my like easy runs um, to really get the benefit. Do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I do think it's around like seven minute mile pace. A lot of people tend to say that. Um, but I'm the type of guy who, if I wasn't using a Garmin watch, I'd either be going too fast or too slow. I wouldn't be able to get that happy medium. And do you know what I mean? And other guys in my club say, oh, you shouldn't stare at your watch so much. That's that's bad. You're slave to watch. It's like, but I kind of have to be. You know, if I go by feel, then I'm just going to either run too slow or too fast. Do you know what I mean? Well, those guys, they're able to run a um, seven minute mile pace, you know, more or less start to finish well, like let's say 6.50 to 7.10 per mile. And, uh, you know, no problems, you know, without looking at the watch, you know, they're just really good at pacing it. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm not, as I mentioned in another video, training update. I ran the first mile in 8.15. I was trying to run about seven minutes for that mile. I was like, oh, okay, fuck, man. I'm going to have to start looking at the watch more. And uh, I ran 7.05 for the next mile, which is okay. And then I sort of stayed at that kind of pace for, for the entire run, which was, which was better. Do you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I'm looking back to uh, one year where I improved a lot. Um, from the, uh, in July 2015, I ran a 9.55 for the 3,000 meters. In April 2016, I ran 9.15. That's a 40 second improvement. And even that day when I ran 9.15, I still felt like I wasn't quite fully pushing myself. I felt like maybe that day I could have ran like 9.05 or something. So yeah, that's a big improvement for such a short period of time. And what was I doing? I was sticking, I was using my Garmin, I was sticking rigidly to paces. And, um, you know, I was doing set, most of my runs around like, my recovery runs around like 7.15 per mile. I was doing like one steady run a week, a kind of six and a half minute mile pace. And uh, two kind of um, sessions. And the sessions weren't even that fast. <laughs> the sessions were generally kind of relaxed. Um, yeah, I think going too fast in the sessions can kind of, uh, negatively affect your training to be honest and um, you know I hadn't improved that much before I, I made you know slower progress why was that uh, I never a Garmin watch so I was just pretty much running by feel and you know I'd say I was either running too slow or too fast for the most part and um, you know what I mean and uh, yeah I made that massive improvement and then um, for a year after that I started doing all my easy runs around like eight minute mile pace sticking rigidly to the pace and I didn't improve much at all and then two years after that, I stopped using the Garmin. I just went by feel using a stopwatch, and I didn't improve much at all in that time either. Like I improved slightly, not much. So yeah, I think you know using a Garmin is like my only hope. So two hopes: either I run with a group who are good at you know pacing the easy runs, or I use my Garmin watch to to pace myself. Do you know what I mean? And um, you see the thing is, uh, very difficult for me to tr meet up with a group because you know most of them train in the evenings. But the way my work's scheduled, you know, when they're out for a run, I'm still at work. Do you know what I mean? Today I'm working from 2 to 10. So I can't meet up with people around 6 or 7. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I just have to pretty much do it on my own. Um, for the most part. Um, I'm off on Saturday though, so I'm going to try to head up to the club training that day. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a weird fact. It's a harsh reality. But, you know, I need to use this technology and be a bit of a slave to the watch in order to get the, the benefits. Do you know what I mean? To improve, to become a top level athlete.